Hello, Aries. All right, so this is not a love reading. This is not about your ex or your current or anything like that. This is strictly about you and what's going on with you and what message spirit wants you to know. All right. So, spirit. Also, this is timeless and hashtagless. Spirit, what message do you have for Aries? So, if this came across your feed, it's possibly for you. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And don't make anything fit that doesn't. It's a general reading. So, it won't be for everyone. So far, we do have the Two of Wands coming up. You could be looking at possibilities of where to take your movement. Where do I want to go next? You're waiting to see. Are you trying to get to know yourself? One eleven on the clock right when I said that. Are you trying to get to figure out what it is that you want to do, who you are? We have the Death card. The Death card is about transformation. So you could be trying to transform yourself. What do I like? What do I want to do? How do I want to do things? What do I want the outcome to be? Do I even know if I'm going to like it? We do have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is all about moving on from what no longer serves you. So I feel like this could be behavior. Especially when it comes to the two of wands. Because it's like, what is it that I used to do that no longer serves me? Where I need to transform. Where I need to move on from it. Where I need to have like different opportunities. We also have the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is working really hard on something. It's like, I know where I need to go and I know where I need to get. But I don't know the outcome with the moon. So that, that's the part that could have you kind of antsy. It could have you a little um, nervous. Trying to trust the process. You don't know. We have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is about you being in your head. You could be overanalyzing some stuff. We also have the Five of Wands. You overanalyzing is too chaotic. So stop it. You could be like really challenging yourself when you don't need to. So I feel like with the two of wands, it's like, okay, I'm trying to take one day at a time. I know I need to transform. I know what I need to do. I feel like that you already know what you need to do. It's just working on the right opportunity to do it. Or you're trying to gather more information or, you know, especially with the king of swords, you're trying to gather as much information as you can. But that's the whole part. There is a such thing as gathering too much information. It doesn't matter how much information you have if you're not putting it to use. You can have the PhD, but it doesn't mean shit unless you're actually out there using it. You know? 3.33 on the clock, right, when I said that. You got some synchronicities here. So, when it comes to the moon, it's like, I don't know the outcome, so let me overthink it. And that's where it can kind of get messed up. Because when you overthink things, you could be like, I want to do this, 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 and this. But by the time you get done overthinking it, you don't even want to do it anymore. It's like, you could be stopping yourself from opportunities by all the overthinking and not trusting the process and not taking the moves forward. Okay. So just be mindful about that. Don't overthink it. Try to take some steps. Take steps. Push yourself. Challenge yourself. Get out of this chaotic way of thinking. Challenge yourself. It'll help. 4.44 on the clock, right when I said that. So, if you're interested in looking to see what I have on my website, crystals, jewelry that I make. I don't make the crystals. I make the jewelry. 
and also personal readings if you want to purchase one. So the website's right here. That is what I got. I am sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.